Don't forget to subscribe. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. Disney, Channel. Disney Channel. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, this is just a. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Let's try this again. <laughs> Check it out. I'm Debbie Ryan. Peyton Elizabeth Lee. Hillary Duff. Dove Cameron. Selena Gomez. Camille McFadden. Madison Who. Sophia Carson. Milo Manheim. Brenda Song. Ross Lynch. Cindy. Cole Jones. Ross, Ross. Erica Ferrer. Jason Dolly. Raven Simone. Bella Thorpe. Cal Mass. Peyton List. Jonas Brothers. Miley Cyrus. And you're, you're watching Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. Did that really just happen? Look at that. Epic. Magical. Looking good. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Wow, this thing makes an awesome back scratcher. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back. Princess Life Light here, and I know it's been a while since January, and now it's time for another video. And this time, it's the Road to Miraculous Season Five and a theory on Chloe. Now I understand that Chloe, like Sonic, has been through a lot since she became a happy hero in Season Two, since Ladybug lost them be miraculous, and since Despair Bear, she apologized for her actions and returned to her evil ways post Miracle Queen. That's true. In the episode battle for the Miraculous Duology, Hawk Moth appeared and decided to brainwash and let Chloe betray Ladybug to lead her to the dark side, similar to the sound on what they did to Sasuke, Sasuke in Naruto. Since then, Chloe's attitude and personality has returned for the worse and has suffered a lot until she treats Sabrina as a minion, until she eventually betrays her, loses Adrian due to creative differences with Creatica and the Queen Banana movie, her mom, Audrey, cut her off after she laughed and threatened to blackmail her half-sister by sending her back to New York City and deport or exile her from Europe for good and ban her for life and treats Sabrina as a slave until she eventually betrays her and gets the dog miraculous. And Beast Boy once said this to Raven from Teen Titans and I quote Beast Boy, you know, Raven, I've been a really nice guy for a really long time. I've put up with your insults and your attitude, and I've had it considered this a warning of, as of last night, Mr. Nice Guy has left the building. Supposed to be intimidated. No, this is... You kind of get the idea. But it means she's starting to act more like Bakugo, Rin, Isuzu, Earth-99, Bruce, Episode 8, Luke, or Jake Skywalker, Sasuke before he was redeemed at the end of the Final Valley Saga in Shippuden, and Machi before Yuki made her smile, so we'll explain their personality. This was meant for Teen Pikachu reviews. We are totally sorry. May we remind you that there are characters that had dealt with a long series of the past, and it takes a long time for them to have a lot of redemption because their past is still in their mind. It was kind of either be a violent past or a tragic past. So there's characters that have a similar matter, like Kevin Eleven, Big Freed, Patroclus, Tira, or Ordo Chimaru, Sasuke, Izuzu, Rin and Soma, Akito, Dabi, Regina, the Cineclons, Coco, Penny, Machi Kodagi, Princess Nehelenia, Sailor Classic, Prince Demand, Nash, Riku, Axel, Namine, Gion, Syax, Vegeta, Canon Borley, and various others. We're not going to mention the title of Mina. We promise. Jin Kazama, Zuko, and many others. Alrighty, people. So. Now that you heard about this theory on Chloe, it's time to wrap up this theory. In conclusion, Chloe has gone to the dark side like Dabby, Regina, Earth-99, Bruce, and Rin before Toru cleansed her and Sasuke. And I think Devilman has something to say. You're wicked! And you'll burn for it! You're a devil! A devil! It's lads like you that give war a bad name! And tell the devil I'm coming for him next! Well said, Demo Man. Well said. <laughs>